so when I moved back to Syracuse out of college, the idea was to go back and try to figure out what I'm going to do, start my career, and uh, I never looked back. The Kitty Hoynes Irish Pub in downtown Syracuse houses more than good liquor and good times. Guinness flows as customers enjoy themselves, but perhaps the beer of choice should be Dos Equis. After all, the Kitty Hoynes is operated by the most interesting man in Syracuse, Michael John Hagerty. You're everywhere, you're everywhere, you're everywhere. Yeah, I am everywhere because I, I want to be all over and I thrive on the variety. Hagerty's creative spark was ignited after feeling unfulfilled by the daily grind of life. A Florida vacation led to a realization. While I was there, it like had the epiphany. I had it dawned on me that no one is showcasing and showing off the area and touring people around. And when I get back, I'm gonna say to people, I'm gonna do this. The thing that really, you know, is the kicker for all that effort and all that hard work and all the things I've been working on is that when a 75 year old man who's who lived in Syracuse all his life, grew up here, was born here tells me that I taught him a thing or two in an hour and a half long tour of downtown. It feels wonderful, it feels really good. I just have uh, an un unfettered passion for teaching people about cool stuff that had happened that was maybe swept under the rug a little bit. So when I had this idea of creating a few buzz feeds, um, I never imagined it was going to like skyrocket um, and people were gonna go crazy over it. But I'm really proud of uh, top 20 inventions you did not know from Syracuse, New York BuzzFeed article. Hagerty doesn't just write articles, he writes music too. Tots is definitely the most legitimate long-running joke of my life because it started because I had a lot of friends who were hip-hop heads and I started doing it and I got into it and you know 60 some odd raps later specifically about potatoes and suddenly I've got myself a uh, you know, a name, right? I'm very lucky because I work with talented musicians and drummers and people who get the idea that I'm having fun with it and they were able to help me, like, by osmosis, become a better musician and do this along the way and have my fun. I have a friend, Lisa Butler. She wanted to do a downtown, uh, open to the public fashion show. So she asked me to uh, wear some clothing for a local boutique and I volunteered and next thing you know it's been three or four years and every fashion event that comes along I get asked again to come out and do it. Uh, the local woman's magazine has a competition and they nominate people for fashionable and they and they consider me one of the most fashionable males in Syracuse. <laughs> Hagerty is also the proud owner of two world records, the longest urban conga line parallel to a creek, and the most sexual innuendos in a potato-related rap. Next thing you know, I'm invited down to New York City to Joe's Pub, at, you know, and uh, um, basically had to perform live in front of an audience at Joe's Pub with guys in yellow jackets clicking and checking my lyrics. And uh, I performed this song called Boil em that I had written and uh, next thing you know it's up on the website and I've broken the world record, right? The one best piece of advice that I've been giving lately is, and it's it's a little bit of a joke, but uh, like Shia, Shia LaBeouf it, right? Just do it. It took me a while to figure it out, but you know, being a you know master tour guide is really what I'm destined to become. and. So I guess my number one passion really is teaching others about cool stuff that happened here and encouraging people to, you know, continue on the legacy. Uh, I have lots more uh, to give and lots more ideas for Syracuse. It's tough to give me a title. I guess when I'm, uh, when someone says, oh, there goes Michael John Haggerty, he is a, whatever, firefighter, you know, whatever the title may be, right? It, that's when I retire.